Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books and reading and stuff. This will be the second part of my five star reads video where I look at the books I read in the year of 2021 and highlight the five star reads. On the first page of my notebook which went up to mid-July, there were seven five-star reads. These were The Sword of Kaigen by M. L. Wang, Solitary by Albert Woodfox, Freshwater by Akweki Emizi, In Dark Water by Lynn McEwen, Winter Loon by Susan Bernhard, Georgia in the Mountains of Poetry by Peter Naismith, and Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now I'm going to run down the books I read from mid-July until now, the 9th of December. The Pursued and the Pursuing by A.J. Lodesso. A Winter of Darkness. This was the first book I got from Book Sirens and this was a five star. It's another police procedural and I really enjoyed it. The Cartographer's Secret by T. Cooper. This is from NetGalley, and this was also a five star. It's the first time I had two five star books in a row. This was historical fiction. There was a dual narrative, one set in 1881, one set in 1910, about these women in New South Wales and the unfortunate exhibition expedition of Leichhardt and those who wanted to follow Leichhardt's trail. Then there was Northanger Abbey, Jane Austen, which I read for Jane Austen in July. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Inhuman Trafficking by Mike Papantonio and Alan Russell. This was also a five star. It's a very intense thriller set in around Florida about human trafficking to Florida and the inhuman way the women were trafficked. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, Star Trek The Contest of Principles by Greg Cox, We the Drowned by Carsten Jensen, this was a Danish bestseller, this was a five star read for me. Uh, a lot was set in the first person plural because it's talking about all the people of this town of this Danish seaport, Marstel and their experiences over a hundred year period from 1848 to 1945 where most of the men from the town would go to sea and many of them drowned. It's a nautical historical novel and it's very well written. Then there was The Gambler by Fyodor Dostoevsky, The City That Barks and Roars by J.T. Bird, Beloved by Toni Morrison, which was a five-star read. Cry of the Innocents, sorry, Cry of the Innocent by Julie Bates. The Shadow People by Graham Masterton. Tall Tales and Wee Stories by Billy Connolly. Then another five-star read, Out Front the Following Sea by Leah Angstman. This was set in New England in the 17th century following one young woman who's uh, been branded as a witch and her troubles, there's a lot of action, it's a very engaging book that I'd recommend to anybody. I got this again from Book Sirens. And there's Renoir, A Dream of Harmony by Peter H. Feist. Dutch Coffee Shop by Jay Scully, an author tuber, book tuber. Uh, it's a gangster thriller set in the Netherlands. Uh, in the world of drug dealing. That was very entertaining. Then there was The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison, her debut novel, and I really, was really impressed and gave it five stars. Boy Between Worlds, book two by Cynthia Huygens. This was a book I only gave 3.5. It's the only one I gave a 0.5 to. It was a good book, but it wasn't for me. It was middle grade book and it was the second book in a series and I hadn't read the first book so for me it wasn't so good but 
if you'd read the first book and if you're maybe 12 or 13 you'd have enjoyed this book. Then Trials and Tribulations, that's another Star Trek book by Diane Carey. These Alien Skies by C.T. Ruizzi, a Zimbabwean author. This imagines an African space team who find a new planet and they want to keep it for the African diaspora. I gave this five stars, it was a great read. The Stand by Stephen King, which I listened to on Audible. The Devil in the Red Dirt by Michael Smith, P. Smith. This was Australian Noir. This was another five star for me. This was set in 1963. Two Aboriginal children turn up dead and these two broken policemen go on the trail to try and find out what happened to them. There's a lot of drug dealing, there's a lot of alcoholism and broken families. But it's a great read. The Gilgamesh the King by Robert Silverberg. Genghis Khan and the Making of the Modern World by Jack Weatherford, A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab, and Red Road by Roger Wheatley. I can only hold up two of the five star reads I've read this year, as the, the only two I have as physical books The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and Beloved by Toni Morrison, both of these classic American novels. Uh, Georgia and the Mountains of Poetry was also a physical book, but it was borrowed from Cynthia and I had to give it back, of course. But the others have all been e-books. I've been reading a lot of e-books since this pandemic. Because One thing you may have noticed from the list is I haven't read the same author twice. The 68 authors I've read, I've only read one book from each. 21 has been a good reading year for me. I've read more than I usually do and having read 16 five-star reads for me, this is very good. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.